Okay. Um, well, I'm glad things have settled down for you today, Nikki. That's that's good news. Um, but I am a bit concerned um, from what the, what you've been telling me. It does sound like things are getting a bit worse, especially because of lockdown, yeah. um, and because Rob is drinking a bit more as well. Yeah. Um, even though I said, you know, that's it's not an excuse for the behaviour, but it is just a little bit concerning that this is happening more often. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So um let's look at your support and what we can do to kind of help i know you don't want to leave rob which is absolutely mm -hmm. fine yeah um, yeah it'd be really good just to to help keep you you and the kids as safe as we can um especially during this period where it's a lot harder to kind of get out and you know yeah well like when it you know when it happens nor like normally i just pick up the kids and we go to aunties you know but now i'm i'm like stuck in my bubble and um she's real good she knows you know she knows what rob's like um so we talk every day and she checks in on me on the kids so i i feel like it's it's good you know yeah that's pretty good it's great you've got that support um not everyone has that so that's brilliant that she's checking in on you every day and you can tell her what's going on and be honest about that um yeah. do you think if things got really bad you could go and stay with her you and the kids all right well not during the lockdown because we're in our bubble I, I didn't I didn't think you know, I could leave my bubble. Yeah, and a lot of people do think that because of the way that the message has come across. But actually, if you are in danger, if you're feeling unsafe, or even from what you've told me happened last night, um, that would kind of be enough for you to be able to leave your bubble um, and go and stay with your auntie. Um, oh, true. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely do that. She'd do, yeah, she said numerous times, like, if, if, you know, just pick up and go, take the kids. So, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Cool. So yeah, just know that you can do that. And if you were stopped by police, for example, that you would just explain what happened and they would be more than happy for you to, to break your bubble to yeah. go be safe, basically, with you and your kids. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, if it, I'm sure it won't, but if it ever gets that, then I'll, I'll just take off to aunties. Sure. Okay, well, that's good. That's good that we've got a plan. Um, but if, I guess if things aren't that bad or aren't as bad as you say, um, we do work with some really good support agencies um, that can give some advice and just sort of help you out to try and decide what to do in those situations. Um, would you, have you ever talked to someone like Shine before? Uh, no, nah, I've heard of them. They're for like abused people though. I don't, I don't need anything like that. Sure, yeah. And they, and they do work with people that are being abused, but they also work with people that are in relationships that are kind of going through similar things to you. Um, so, you know, they don't kind of push people to go one way or the other or call the police or, you know, anything like that. They just kind of listen to what's happened and give you some really good advice on what to do, maybe how to keep um, your children safe and yourself safe. Um, and also just give you a bit more kind of, um, kind of um, empowerment and, and help you to manage that situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so would you be willing or open to speaking with them if I passed on your details? But, uh, well, it depends. I mean, does, does Rob have to know that I'm talking to them? Because he wouldn't like that. Sure, yeah, completely understand that. Um, nope, so it's confidential, it's private. Um, we can arrange, I mean, I can arrange a time with them where we know that Rob's not going to be in. Perhaps our next appointment or something, they could um, call you at the same time. Um, oh yeah have a chat and see see what they say and you don't have to go on what they say but it might be good to hear what they have to say okay yeah we could do that i i reckon that would be all right for next meeting yeah we could do that okay great so i'll get in touch with them um and pass on your details and we'll arrange that for the next meeting okay